In this video, we'll go over the icons and options on CorelDRAW's property bar. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial. By default, the property bar runs below the CorelDRAW standard toolbar, which is just under the menu bar. For Windows users, if you don't see the property bar, right-click anywhere in any other toolbar and choose Property Bar. The Window Toolbars menu is another place where you can toggle toolbars on and off. For Windows users, if you want this toolbar or any other toolbar to appear in a different spot, you can right-click in a toolbar and toggle off Lock Toolbars. You can then grab the toolbar by its left edge and place it anywhere, drag an edge to resize it, or drag it back to any edge to dock it in place. To keep toolbars from moving, right-click again in a toolbar and toggle Lock Toolbars back on. Windows users can also change the size of icons on this toolbar by right-clicking in the property bar and choosing Customize. With a default button size, you can change the icon size throughout all toolbars, or you can do this just for the property bar. I'll use the largest size for my icons to make them easy to see for the rest of this tutorial. Now let's look at how this toolbar works. The property bar is context sensitive, which means that the icons it contains depend on which tool is active and what objects, if any, are selected. For example, while the pick tool is active and nothing is selected, the options are for the file itself, page size and orientation, drawing units, default nudge and duplicate distances, etc. When I select an object, the first options include object origin, position, size, scale, and rotation. These options are common to all types of selected objects and groups of objects, including shapes, lines, and text. If I make a change in the drawing window, such as dragging a size node to enlarge the object, values update in the property bar. I can also make changes using property bar options, such as rotating the selected object. The rest of the options on the property bar will vary depending on the active tool or the type of selected object. For example, when text is selected, the position and size options remain, and the rest of the property bar icons are relevant to text, including the font list and options for size and formatting, any of which can be changed. Selecting a bitmap produces options relevant to bitmaps. While nothing is selected, when I switch to the rectangle tool, the position and size options are grayed out because nothing is created or selected yet. But I can set tool-specific options, such as chamfered corners with a specific corner radius. Note that if nothing is selected and I change certain general properties, such as outline width, the change will become the default for similar tools, in this case all graphic tools. When I then draw the rectangle, it has the specified corners and outline, and since the new rectangle is selected, the size and position options are available. As long as the rectangle remains selected, everything can be changed, such as scale factor or line style. As you would expect, each tool has tool-specific options on the property bar. For example, the polygon tool has an option to set the number of sides, as does the star tool, and the common shapes tool has a drop-down menu where I can select the shape I want. As we saw, property bar options for the text tool include font settings, and the interactive fill tool has options for different types of fills, including uniform, fountain, vector pattern, and more. Selecting a fill type changes the property bar icons. So, when I choose fountain fill, the options are relevant to gradients, and for bitmap pattern fill, I have a pattern selection menu. For any selected object, CorelDRAW remembers the tool used to create it. So, if I go back and select the star, I have the star options on the property bar. If multiple objects are selected, the property bar options include shaping tools such as Combine, Weld, and Trim, as well as Group and Ungroup, and the icon that opens the Align and Distribute Docker. For Windows users, regardless of the options that appear on the property bar, the last icon is a plus sign, also called the Quick Customize icon. The Pick tool is active and nothing is selected, and I'll click this icon to see the default list of property bar icons. I can uncheck an icon to remove it, 
select an icon to add it back in, reset the toolbar, or choose Customize to add a tool. In this example, I have File Commands displayed, and I'll drag a few of these icons directly into the property bar. I can remove an icon by dragging it off. These added icons will appear on the property bar for this context only, which means they will only appear while the Pick or Shape tool is active and nothing is selected. These icons will not appear if a different tool is selected. For other customization options, I'll right-click in the property bar and choose Customize Property Bar Toolbar. The option to add a new command appears here as well, and I can also add a new flyout. The flyout comes in empty, in the spot where I right-clicked, and to add new icons to the flyout, I'll click Quick Customize again, click Customize, and drag icons onto the flyout, then into the correct position within the flyout. Like with adding individual icons, a flyout is also context sensitive. To remove an icon from the property bar, I can right click on it and choose Customize, Toolbar Item, Delete. Finally, the Customize menu for the property bar also has a Properties option. Property bar is selected on the left, and several customization options can be set on the right. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on the property bar in Corel Draw. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial.